Hello everyone, welcome to part 64 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the e-commerce setting panel and then we will work on the e-commerce website as well. So we will continue working on the product attributes and in this video we are going to update the product attributes in our add edit product form. So let's see. Okay, so these are the attributes we have shown in the last video. So now we are going to convert this price and stock to the fields so that we can able to update them as well. Okay. So uh, let's uh, convert it to fields. I'm going to open this page, add edit product uh, form. Okay, add edit product blade file. Uh, okay, so the attributes uh, here we have added the attributes. So I'm going to convert uh, these two uh, up till SKU is fine. So price and stock we can able to update. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do it like this. So here I'm going to add like i'm going to pick here the input type uh, test uh, we are going to take uh, for price we can take the number as well for price okay number or floating value okay number we are going to take uh, then price we'll pick it uh, like this value okay value this one this complete one we're going to pick this complete one like this okay type number and width once again we're going to take here the width width like 100 pixel other than width uh, nothing else is required okay so i'm going to copy this one and we'll do the same thing for the stock as well and here uh, we are going to replace it with the stock and this one we are going to remove so now we are going to check okay so it seems to be fine see here we can also add the decimal point yes we can add fine price as well as stock so that we can able to update them uh, so after this uh, we are going to modify the add edit product press controller we're going to open and here we are going to modify this add edit product function okay so here uh, after adding the attributes here we are going to uh, like sorry this one is the i'm going to add here some commenting is required to here add product attributes And after this, we are going to add here edit product Okay, so here we are going to add the for each loop like this. And uh, one thing is left here, uh, we are going to uh, pick the ID as well as hidden because that is required. So we are going to pick this uh, ID in the hidden variable okay so i'm going to add here the hidden variable after for each loop here i'm going to add here the input type uh, hidden okay or we can simply take it as uh, display none as well okay i can take it like hidden and name i'm going to uh, will take like attribute id attribute id like this and okay, so value is this one fine so that uh, we can able to update in for each loop uh, we are going to pick this one uh, this attribute id in for each loop here dollar data attribute id Just simply match it and this one is same one fine uh, okay so here uh, we can also take it like attribute uh, attribute and here we can take it like a don't match it with this one we can always keep this separate separate one it is better to make the separate okay uh, like separate from the last one okay so though you can use the same one as well but it always better if you will take a separate one because sometimes it picks the value from the last one okay so if not empty 
and dollar attribute is not empty so in this case we are going to modify product attribute we are uh, id this uh, attribute id will match it with the dollar attribute sorry dollar attribute uh, here the id must be match with this dollar attribute at here dollar data attribute then dollar key think it will work fine let's see and then uh, to this one uh, we are going to update uh, we are fine. okay then update price price is also coming from there dollar data price then dollar key uh, okay so dollar a key it is dollar a key and here also the AQ. okay so after this uh, price we are going to modify the stock as well so data stock AQ. fine so now we are going to test that whether it is working fine or not so i am going to modify it is prices but some issue has come uh, we're going to check that what issue exactly and here i'm thinking that maybe the issue will come uh, so where uh, is fine it is dollar a key so it seems to be fine and here uh, update this one and uh, price dollar price fine stock stock one more uh, will end up here i think yeah and here it will not end here it will end too here okay so now i think it will be fine yes it is now fine. so now we will try to update the prices as well as stock like suppose if the client uh, updates the prices okay or for sales they reduce the prices like this okay so all prices and also uh, there is increase in stock 200 uh, 300 400 okay so let's see what's going to happen it updates it or not let's see update i'm going to check with the 10th uh, id i think any this one this id 14th id red casual t-shirt i'm going to click on edit and we'll see it all update prices update stock update so it's updated okay so we can able to update the attributes as well okay and also i think we okay, we can able to add the attribute more attribute we can able to add like if i want to add the attribute and if i want to update the attribute both the things together i'm going to check it like whether it is possible okay x large i'm going to add here the extra large x large here okay and here sku it will come like uh, this sku xl and here the price i'm going to make it the price like uh 1200 and here i'm going to make it the 500 stock and here if i want to update the stock to 200 300 like this okay and see i have updated the stock as well along with that i have able to add the one more attribute so i'm going to check it that whether i able to update as well as add the attribute at the same time so i'm going to check with that id once again and here you can see yes i able to add the extra large size as well and also i able to update the stock as well so both add and update is working at the same time so uh, in the next video we are going to add the actions for these attributes and in actions we are going to add the active inactive as well as the delete functionality for the attribute so that we can make them active or inactive anytime and also we can able to delete them whenever we want so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye